the Southwest's Lake Powell and Lake Mead, designed to water the West during drought, are still at critical levels despite a good snow season, water managers told Fox Weather. They add the government is demanding further cuts from the states in the Colorado River Basin as current usage is not sustainable. While California's reservoirs may have received a water supply bonanza of snowfall this winter, Lakes Powell and Mead have little to celebrate about. The multiple atmospheric river storms that dump twice the amount of winter snow in some areas of the Sierra Nevada mountains have only resulted in near-average snowpack for the Rockies, which supply water to the Colorado River. And it is not enough, water managers say. So the prognosis is this is a good year we're having so far. But it's just a small bump, small increase, Bill Hossenkamp, manager of Colorado River Resources for the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, told Fox Weather. But overall, the long-term trend isn't looking good for these two big reservoirs. Shocking video and pictures last summer revealed once sunken boats are now hazards blocking channels as water levels dropped. Police discovered several bodies previously underwater. Water intakes that supply 90% of Las Vegas water were above the lake surface. Hassenkamp says that is not going to change anytime soon. The reservoirs were full in the year 2000. These are the two biggest reservoirs in the United States filled to the brim just 23 years ago, he said. And they've been dropping steady for the last two decades. And last summer, they both hit their lowest levels ever. Research found that the past 23 years has been the driest period in the West in over a millennium. Changing weather patterns, climate change, resulted in the mega drought which Hassenkamp feels is far from over. What we've seen is what's aggravating this, increased temperatures in the southwest, he said. We're still getting snow that falls in the Rocky Mountains, but the snow is not making it to the reservoirs like it used to because of warm temperatures, higher evaporation, and more losses along the way.